means. What do I mean? Okay, maybe it's just the kids. Maybe it's just oh the kids. God. What? That voice running around. But when you're taking when you're taking a, a, a broom and banging it purposely on somebody's roof, that's rude. What? First off, Excuse she me. The no, that was okay. But until she hears noise. Is my kids not allowed to have any? You know, you can't make a noise complaint. Okay, but you, you but but you know what though? You can you can make them no. slow down a bit. The whole approach you brought to this door isn't do acceptable. <laughs> yeah, oh, the poor kid, dude. Literally, he's just like, man, I'm just trying to play. That sucks. Yo, her voice though, like that is it's too bad. But that is too many cigarettes, guys. Like Jesus, like that was like, eh, like holy moly, lady. Like calm down on the smokes, you know. Wait, so maybe just, I am drunk. Am I yes, we just have well, to sell here. Why would they keep me? They they removed me from the casino. I'm too drunk. Oh. <laughs> the man went into the fifth dimension. <laughs> The shirt really adds to whatever is going on here, to be quite honest. <laughs> like, that's quite the shirt. Also, he got kicked out of a casino. Gambling is bad. It all, you know, intertwines with each other. <laughs> it's all related. I knew you were trouble as soon as I saw you. Roll down the window. Do you guys have a nice Christmas? Yeah. yeah. Once you leave, have a wonderful but that's Christmas. not. You know but what? You don't. You, you know don't. What? You don't in hold space, space like that. You, you know don't what? stand in a space and block other people from yeah. parking. We got here first. You know what? To set an example. No. Of why? Kindness, why? I'm gonna give you guys the space. Why are you entitled to the Merry space? Christmas. Why are that's you America's entitled? We, we explain to me why yeah. you're entitled. Not, yeah. That doesn't. It doesn't work that way. And you girls like. You know. I hope, explain to me no, why so you're entitled to this space. I hope you have the peace in your heart. Same to you. <laughs> Man, that was scary. That lady at the beginning. Are you having a nice Christmas? I'm like, oh, I'm afraid of you. But like, if she's moved, I would just go. Like, I wouldn't even try and argue with somebody who's a Karen. You know what I mean? She already just wants to like stand there and like block the space and whatever. If she's moved, I'm pulling in. That's it. I don't need to argue with you, Karen. Just get out of my parking space and that's it. We're good. See you later. Don't even waste your breath. I know you want to like get your point across, but people just don't listen anyway. So it doesn't matter. Go ahead and record. You are in my office. You have no right to do this. Okay. Record, put it out there. <laughs> Customers have responsibilities. Mm -hmm. When you do not do what you're supposed to do, it's not my fault. Get out of my office. Yo, this guy's accent is sick. Fitness Central does not condone bad behavior. Okay. <laughs> We do not condone bullying. We do not condone nonsense. Yeah. We don't no, we don't count you as a customer what you because what you are doing is insane. Yo, yo, for real, dude. We do not condone nonsense. We do not condone insanity, bro. Like, even though this guy is losing it right now, he's actually making a lot of sense. Like, sometimes you see these people freak out and like, there's like no, none of the the things that they're saying add up to logic. But this guy is just like had enough. You know, I want to see what happened prior to this because clearly, like this customer is doing something like this was a freak out but i feel like if i had to guess i feel like this is a warranted freak out you know I, i'm just i'm literally just shooting shot in the dark there i don't know but i feel like it is i'd ask that you please this guy <laughs> i would ask that you please stay six feet from me stay away from this way baiting mother this guy like pulled the uno reverse card on death <laughs> I'd ask stay away from him stay away from him this is a race baiter. This is a race baiter. At this point, you just stay away, okay? Or I'm gonna call the police. I will call the police. Go ahead. <laughs> I like this. This guy, well, I don't like this. There's clearly an issue here, but this guy's just hammered on the beach, vibing a little too hard. <laughs> you're, you're publicly intoxicated, that's clear. Public intoxication is a crime. It's a felony, so. Stay away from him. Stay away from him. What were they even doing? Why was this guy also death in flip-flops is hilarious. <laughs> I love that. But why was why were they on the beach? What were they doing? What were they there for? I got a lot of questions. It's not going to stop. It's going to keep going. And you're gonna constantly need work and you're gonna constantly come back and blame me because you need I work. Walk away. I need Don't walk. hate the player, hate the game. That's an expression. Don't hate the mechanic, hate the vehicle. 
I drive a 96 Chevy GMC pickup. You know why I don't drive a Mercedes? I don't want to no, fix no, them all the time. Today is not for all this stuff. Today is for telling me why I have to be here again. Dang. Well, did he overcharge her like for work that didn't need to be done? Or is that just, you know, the price of getting your vehicle fixed? Because I do understand that it is not cheap to get your vehicle fixed, but I also understand there are some shady people out there who like to try and charge you for things when they think you don't know what you're talking about. So I got some questions about what's on that bill. I'm not placing blame on anyone. I'm just asking questions. I need more information before I make my decision on that one. Excuse me? What? You call me a pro? I wasn't even talking to you. Are you alright? Listen, respect yourself. There's kids in this class. Alright? No! No, I won't respect myself. I won't. <laughs> Jeez, that, that noise at the end there, man. I mean, okay, if he actually straight up literally like called this lady a prostitute, like I get it. Like I understand why you'd freak out like that, but I don't think that's what was going on. Like I'll be honest, I didn't really fully hear the beginning of the clip. So I don't think that's what was happening. And obviously like, even if you do that, then he's like, hey, like I didn't mean that. Then it's over, you know? It's like, okay, like you're done now. Like the freak out is done. Okay, it's like, oh, sorry about that. Like didn't mean to apologize entirety of the bus. You know, but then she just kept going, dude. She just like, it was just like you started it and the snowball just kept going down the hill, man. Oof. Got dogs out. <laughs> That's so funny. Aw, why did they always like... It's always the dogs that are working that look so cute when you can't pet them, but you want to, but they're working. Love little dogs, little working dogs. It's so cute. This is hilarious. I mean, I bet some of those people were running just because other people were running and they just felt like they were supposed to do that. But uh, not all of them. That's definitely for sure. I'm sorry, I can't. We're closed. I need my phone fixed today. I can't, we're closed. We like, I don't have enough time. I can't go without my phone. How much you want? I'll pay you whatever you want. What you it's need? Not, good... It's not about money. I'll pay you extra for your time. It's not about I need my phone. I can't go without it. I... We don't... What kind of phone is it? We don't even have the screen for it. I can't do this tonight. I'm you sorry. I have to do it. I cannot go without my phone. I can't. You have to fix my phone. I can't go without my phone. Okay, Okay. well, I think we have bigger issues that if this is an actual cop, for some reason, I was getting, like, I was getting the vibe that this could be fake. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that was just me. But if this is an actual clip, then the biggest problem here is that you need to figure out how to live your life without your phone. Like, I understand it is 2022, and it's almost, it is hard to do things without that, you know? Like, you kind of need it to communicate with everybody. Like, your job requires you to have it, all those things. I get that. But if you can't make it, like, 24 hours without it, like, uh, there's a bigger issue afoot. You know what I'm saying? I'm announced again, so that is really, really scary. Really, really. She's an extremely scary. Don't take pictures. She is an extremely scary person. You're not allowed to film me. Excuse me. This is copyrighted. You are not allowed to film me. It's copyrighted. So I've got. It's co first of all, the lady has no idea what copyright is, apparently. But just that really calm voice going, she's really, really scary. And then this lady walking up going, boo! Is. I mean, that was a cinematic experience. Oh, I think I've seen this one before. Mm -hmm. That's why you can't get workers. Who wants to sit here and listen to some here and talk? Yeah. It doesn't matter what I like. I can tell you don't like it. Well, too bad. Go someplace else. Go to Burger King. Have it your way. Have it your way in Burger King.
Dude, honestly, yeah, I, I buy with this, man. Like, we all need to see this. Like, he's freaking out, but he's not freaking out to the point where it's so much that, uh, like, it's ridiculous, you know? He's making a lot of sense, right? It's just like, let this man do his job. You think he wants to have to deal with people like you? This is why there's no workers. If you don't like it here, go somewhere else. Go to Burger King, right? It, like, all these things to me, they, they make a lot of sense. We didn't see what it was that she was saying or she was doing before this, but you got to imagine it was super rude. It was probably uncalled for. And the dude's just calling her out on it. And frankly, she's like, yeah, like she's standing there, you know, she's in this defensive position being like, yeah, I was in the wrong right now. She knows it, but she's not saying anything, right? So yeah, we all need to hear that, dude. Like literally, like all of those things, respect. That's so scary. That was the scariest thing I've ever seen. That was like a real life horror movie. Ooh, I did not like that. Ew, what a creep. Got a wild Karen at Walmart. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, my kids are listening to all that. Fuck you guys, I'm never shopping here again. Thank you for that. Oh, fuck you. What the hell is she saying? Yeah, I think it's so funny that she started off this clip being like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then like five seconds later, she's like, Fuck you, I'm never coming here again, God damn it! Like literally, I do not believe that you were sorry. I think that was a fake apology, folks, if I just had to wager a guess. Okay, wait, so was this just a prank? Was he just wearing a red shirt and then went up and started like pretending to be the manager? That's what I'm getting out of this because everyone is laughing. Also, why would they be filming? I don't even know what to make of this. The guy's just trying to shop, leave him alone. But then he's running and he's yelling help. It's kind of funny, but it's not funny that they were being mean like that. There's some kind of a hair or something attached to me. It keeps tickling my... Oh, it's a thread. It's a thread on my pants. Okay, getting distracted. I thought it was a spider. My problem is you. Oh. Sir, he's okay, he's getting a little aggressive. Dude, no one's talking to you, bro. No one's talking to you. No one's talking to you. Smiling. No one's talking to you. Okay, yeah, so there's there's a lot of accusations being thrown around here where we just, we don't know any of the information. You know what I mean? Look at your No one was talking to you. And I'm talking to you. You are crazy. I was not talking to no one. I was not talking to that person. I was talking to nobody. You women that way. Who? This Who? Is Who was I lesson. talking to? You I'm gonna, I'm gonna withhold my judgment off this 100%. I will say, uh, I will say one thing. My dude who was on camera most of the time was being very aggressive. So I don't know how this came about, but we have to tone it down a little bit. Like that slam of the car. If I was the guy behind the camera, I would be feeling unsafe. The, you know, is he, is this aggression warranted? Is what he's saying warranted? We don't know. We didn't see what happened prior, but yeah, like tone it down a bit, dude. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, this is a classic really video. <laughs> this is tonight's dinner. Commitment. Word. <laughs> what year is this from? <laughs> Man, this is a classic video. And it's just like the most. This is what teenagers used to do. <laughs> I saw this as a kid. Oh, he's calling his friends over there. It's good. Excellent, dude. Excellent, man. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Stuff like this when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the poor seagulls, though. I'm not for doing this, but it the video is good. We did it one time and we can just leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Just leave that in the past. Again, what are you doing? Taking a video of this. This is absolutely ridiculous. Is the FBI after this because I'm irritated that my broccoli is not resolved? You're pretty rude. And I don't even know what's going on. I know. So why are you here? Because of the words. I, I might I might go psychotic pretty soon. I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna get very violent pretty soon. Thank God you're here. 
cool. Keep going. The secondhand embarrassment I feel from this Karen is next level. Like her just like nodding. Mm -hmm. Karen, when you're screaming at somebody, people are probably gonna stop just to be like, what the hell is going on? Because normal people don't just scream at people in their day-to-day -day lives. So, especially when you're at a beautiful beach like this. It's usually a place for peace and serenity, not just unhinged behavior over broccoli. I don't know what she was talking about, but she said broccoli, I think. I really could have misheard that, and part of me hopes I did. <laughs> you live here, and you think your mother would appreciate you doing that to no, other residents? Bitch. She didn't do anything. It was her. So now do you live here? Because you're the one who's screaming like a little baby. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh my god, okay, she's so just a little girl. Here, you want to have fun. What do you want to do at practice? So you don't think we should respect each other? But then you say I'm not nice, but you're the one who started. Oh my gosh. That was you? So you should say you're sorry because you don't treat adults like that. Oh my gosh. You don't treat kids like that, lady. Like, holy. I hate you. I hate you, dude. And honestly, the person behind the camera, like, I get that you're filming it. And like, yeah, like, th this is good that you're filming it. But after you're done filming, you got to get up. You got to talk to this lady. Like, that's horrible. That's actually horrible. Imagine having that much hatred in your body that you'd go to a bunch of children who are having fun and like do that to them. And I get it. Like, okay, kids can be annoying sometimes. Like, I think we, we could all agree on that, right? Maybe they're being a little bit loud but like dude like you cannot approach it like that like that was just absolutely abhorrent man zero respect for that lady from that clip that, that was that was gross oh, what 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 the heck imagine like getting a tan and then you gotta dodge a horse <laughs> What? That was, <laughs> everything about that was the most chaotic, but also at the same time, the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Like, that water is so gorgeous, that sand, but then it's just absolute chaos. The last thing I was expecting was to see a horse galloping away. That's so funny. Wow, what a fever dream. This place is ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. They screw up and then they say they're not going to re- My child's here, watch your mouth. Watch my mouth, they broke yeah. my watch. Yeah, I guess this guy's not going to order. <laughs> it is not your opinion uh, for here, tell please. me what I could do. You just mind your own business back there. Well, you're screaming you to the entire place, so it's hard to mind my own business. You understand what I'm saying to you, ma'am? <laughs> oh my god. God, I hate people like this. You want everyone to be on your side because you think you're right, and then when you're getting shut down because you have a bad opinion that nobody agrees with, then you want everyone to mind their own business. Well, it's really hard to mind my own business when you're screaming to the entire fucking fast food place, Mr. Karen man. This guy from the Chiefs game tried to fight a kid, and my dad over everyone behind him asking politely for him to sit down. During some of the game, he pulled out some card saying he was a deputy sheriff and was allowed to behave what? that way. I'm a deputy he sheriff, so I can break the law. Everyone to stand up, even though we had elderly people in our section. Someone like this shouldn't be allowed to protect the community when he flaunts that he's entitled to act that way. Yeah, exactly. Literally, all of those things, totally. If, they, if what they're saying is true, then 1,000 percent guys it's a sports game i get it like emotions are heightened right now we're all feeling things we're probably drinking but this is not the answer you know and especially too if you're a deputy and then you know you're pulling out your car being like oh i'm a deputy like you can't do that but i can like who are you? Like, actually, who are you? You know, you're here with me. We're watching this game together. You clearly have had a few brews, just as many as me. So, like, that, I just, that is so, way to take a good situation and turn it bad, you know? It's like, we're supposed to be having fun and you're doing this? Get out. Working third shift at a hotel dealing with it's like for part to wait I for it. I got complaints that you're knocking on doors. Do you have a room? Yeah. What's your room? 204. 
two or four, so why are you on the third floor? I got locked up here. These doors locked, man. What are you talking about? You can walk right out the store. Oh man, this is just like a terrible situation to be in. The doors have locks on them. All right, come on, you gotta get off the third floor. Who said I knocked on the door? What? Three three different calls. What, what were the rooms? I'm not gonna tell you that. Get off the third floor, please, before I kick you out. Did I knock on the door? Hey, get the f out right now, go. I didn't knock get on out. the door. Get the f out of here, go. I'm sorry, man, I'm no. sorry. Oh my god. Just like the absolute worst response you could possibly have. Working at a hotel, like, there's probably some crazy stories. Hey you, if you work at a hotel, let us know what it's like. Is it fun? Is it stressful? Is it weird? Give us a little insight. I wanna work at a hotel. Oh my god. I like that the people are asking, is somebody in there? Um, I hope not, but if you have a feeling, I would maybe double check. <laughs> I hope not, but I think his trunk is just broken and he's really mad, which, listen, I get it. And I don't think it's an appropriate response, but I do think that as long as it's your own car, if you wanna smack it a bunch, then all the power to ya. Sometimes you're gonna let that rage out and it's better to do it on your own car than somebody else's. You actually waited for me. Oh my God, yeah. what's wrong with you? Yeah. You're yeah. free. Yeah. Go ahead. You are. You followed me? You actually followed yes, me up here? I followed you. Yeah. Yeah, I Hold actually on. followed you Let me. because you caused accidents. What is accidents. wrong with you? Your parents shouldn't buy you Where? This car. My parents? Yeah. We don't even know how old I am. Yeah, because you're too young to drive. Oh, you want to eat a... I want to know what she was saying at the end there. Um, I don't know who's in the right and who's in the wrong in this situation. I mean, I genuinely do not believe it's okay to follow anybody, mostly anywhere really, but especially like following somebody into a parkade. If somebody followed me into a parkade, I would fear for my life in that moment. Parkades are so scary. <laughs> I don't know why, they're just a scary place. So I don't necessarily agree with that behavior, but I also am like really curious as to what happened that caused this whole thing, because she's causing accidents and then fleeing the scene. Also not good behavior, but I don't know. Now it's not an accusation, I'm just saying. I have no idea what happened, so. Can need a little more context on this one, please? What? My post. Which post? These posts? These posts aren't yours, dude. They're my fence. That post is, that post is not your post. Bullsh**. You, you tied on your fence to mine. What the f Are you crazy? You must yeah. be smoking that crack, dog, because this all belongs to me, dog. No, it don't. Yes, it does. No, it don't. Yes, it does. Yes, oh, okay. it is, bro. Right. So we're and then this. passing the Look argument. This. this fence here is mine. Look where the line is, my friend. No. You can see it. Look at that. It's not tied line. up to it. You're a fucking moron, dude. You're not tied hey. up to it. Okay, this is the dumbest argument I've ever heard in my entire life. Like, like, who actually cares? You know, who actually cares? And if you hate your neighbor that much, let's just say, if you hate your neighbor that much, he looks to be putting up a fence right now, or it looks like he's building more of an enclosure. Shouldn't that be a good thing? Like, shouldn't you want that? Shouldn't you want to be like, have, have a barrier between you and this guy if you hate him that much? I don't know, it just seems to make sense, you know? That's wild. I mean, man, like, it's gonna cost you a lot more money now. <laughs> You'll go in here putting the machines about, we're smashing them up. Um, we need assistance surgery. <laughs> this is bad. Oh. No, it's Bet Fred's in Cowley. That's where. Bet Fred's Temple Square, Cowley. Um, yeah, uh, one second. This is crazy. He was mad. That move at the end. He meant business. Don't gamble. Don't gamble. It's just bad. I know it's fun, but it's bad. It's bad and it's addictive and it's scary and risky. I'm not a gambler. I'm not a risk taker. I like to play it safe. I'm going to ask you to pull away again before I 
Now Call listen. The now, like I told you, I sat back there for five minutes. Nobody would take my order. I said hello at the microphone. I said hello, hello, hello. Nobody would come on and take my order. I sat back there for five minutes. As I so I drove sir, forward, as and I and sir, and I, I drove forward to the window. And you no you're point. saying you won't take my order at the window. No, sir. I said if you continue to yell at me and be rude, I will not. I did not say I. I was not, not yelling at you when I pulled you up here. Were. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, I do get the frustration. He was just trying to. Nobody was there, so then he wanted to pull up, and they're not taking his order. I don't know. Like split on this one you know what i mean there's part of me that's like listen man you could have been yelling before you started recording and i wasn't there so i don't know but there's part of me that watches this video and went okay he maybe was a little angry but he wasn't yelling and he really did just explain what happened and it's a pretty reasonable thing so you should probably just take his order while he's not yelling at you well that's what i would do personally but i don't know man i'm out i'm i'm split i'm torn it's all on the bottom, see? And now you can go to a different store. We will not be serving you anymore. Thank you. Have a Thank good day. Thank you. You got for what? what? Why are you not serving me? Please pull forward. Why are you not serving me? Get out of my drive through I'm now. just asking you why you're because not serving me. Because every single time we make a drink, it is wrong. Obviously, we cannot satisfy you the first time, and we're done trying. So get out of my drive through You know what? Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of with the employee on this one. Like, I understand that was a bit of a blow up, and we do not have all the information. But if, if this guy, okay, okay, you know what? There, there are, there are some caveats here. If they were making the drink like abhorrently wrong multiple, multiple times, and he was just saying like, "Hey, you're making it wrong," I get that. But something, something in me, like I got a sixth sense that he is being real particular about things right now like being super like like too picky and these guys have had it and in that case I'm with the employees just like this is a McDonald's this is not a specialty drink store if you want to get your drink done perfectly you got to go you got to pay up for that you got to go to a gourmet place you know what I'm saying this is McDonald's it's the drive-through get gone that's not the way the protocol is here at the beach you can't just stand there people are waiting in line We've all been waiting in line. We've been waiting in line. I can't see the fucking Well, they need to circle around like we have. Oh my gosh. Why does everyone think that they can just stand in a spot to hold a parking spot? Especially like she said when there's a line to get a parking spot? Absolutely not. No ma'am. You need to move. You need to move. You need to move. The lifeguard, I will. Get the lifeguard, honey. Yeah. <laughs> she left. It's just not happening. And then the fact that she leaves when she goes to get the lifeguard, because she knows she's wrong. That's the thing. She thought that they were just gonna like, you know, whatever, be like, it's not worth it. But sometimes you gotta stick to your guns. Everyone was a Karen here, but that doesn't mean that some people were in the wrong. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you have to be a Karen. Dad, you for this. How much Hi, Dad. You have mommy I bought this all cash, oh, yeah, bro. Yeah. I bought this all cash, yeah. dog. Yeah. Can I what are you? I'm eight. Film major? Four ninety-three. Yeah. How old? You. How old are you? Twenty-seven. Yeah, twenty-eight. Exactly. I'm a twenty-two-year-old girl. Exactly. Why are you out here like this, Joe Dirt? If a twenty-two-year-old girl is saying get your life together. Okay, she going off. I don't even know what they're fighting about. What is this even? Also, why does it always come back to like, oh yeah, I paid for this all cash. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care what kind of car you drive. I don't care how much money you have at any point in time, especially when I'm angry at you about something. I'm, I'm angry about the thing that's going on. That is nothing, I don't care how much money you make, you know, on both sides, because I don't know who brought it up, but like, it's just irrelevant. It doesn't matter. I'm mad at you because you're being an asshole. <laughs> That's it. Right now, you know, you and your trash and your shit are not gonna stay here. Go behind sports arena. What? That's where you Go park and hey, live. I'm not living here. Where I are you living? Okay, you. who's your friend? I'm not telling you who my friend what? is. I'm staying in my friend's house. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Where, where, I'm not where, camping where, here. where, where? None of your business. Get away from my car. You're in trouble. 
fine. Call You're the cops. In, I'm calling the cops. Call get the cops. away from my car. Dude, and you already know the police. They're going to get on that phone and be like, what is this? Like, we have way bigger fish to fry than whoever this person is on vacation. Like, just, this is stop. Just stop. Why is it that these people wake up in the day and decide, you know how I'm going to spend my day? Ruining other people's days. That's got to be a really sad, really upsetting existence, right? Sucks. Go, 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 no, 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 please, 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 what? Dang, that's crazy. They were so scared. You could tell that was like genuine, like real fear. Please, 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 Okay. We're gonna see mi madre. Do well, well, well. Uh, Cancun. Aaron. Aaron. See you. Logan. Edwin. But I like that the guy's like, it's okay. He's got his hand on his shoulder. They shook hands. He's like, no, no problem. He's like, okay, we're just making sure everything's good, all right? What's your name? Philip. Philip. No problem. Can I speak English a little? A little. Don't be scared. Help is on the way. <laughs> Help has arrived. I don't fucking know. This is over? Yes, breakfast is over at seven o'clock. I have to clean up. Whether there's food there or not. I did not know that you were sitting there. So if you're done with that, or if you still want that, you can have it, but I'm getting ready to throw it away if you're not done. <laughs> Who you talking to like this? Did you not just hear what I just said? Seven o'clock, breakfast is done. So if you want this stuff, you can take it. So you were to supposed to make that announcement before you started putting your no, rag. No, you know how that goes. Everybody knows that breakfast. No, well, I'm new, now. so I didn't know nothing. So oh, you were well. supposed to explain. What you mean, oh, oh well? Hmm. Well. Interesting. Is this like um, a common experience that people have? You would hope that that's not the case, but I don't know. I nobody needs to hear my opinion on this. To be completely honest, I'm just watching and listening. So. You know, sound off in the comments. Let me know. Guys, that's all the clips we have for today. I gotta get out of here and you probably got something else to do. Like maybe watch another video after this one.